Good morning. This is Pamela Bluewater for JNS Biblical Productions, September 15, 1959, at the Vatican in Rome. We are fortunate enough to speak with Monsignor Hugh O'Flaherty, a Vatican priest who lived through World War II in Rome, Italy from 1943 through 1944, who has an incredible story of forgiveness to tell us that illustrates the Lord's Prayer as given by Jesus on the Sermon on the Mount. Welcome, Monsignor Hugh O'Flaherty. He was nicknamed the Scarlet Pimpernel of the Vatican. Thank you for that introduction. Thank you for being here. Monsignor O'Flaherty, I'm calling on you to tell us your personal story of forgiveness that comes from the Sermon on the Mount, Matthew chapter 6, verses 14 through 15. Yes. I was faced with that exact decision at the end of World War II in Rome. I found myself listening to the Gestapo Colonel Kapler pleading with me to help his wife and children get out of Rome. The Allies were closing in and all the Germans had to flee. Monsignor, how did Matthew chapter 6 verse 14 have to be followed with the Gestapo? Miss Bluewater, you see, I had taken the oaths and vows to follow the Lord's Prayer. Uh, Matthew chapter 6 verse 14 is very clear. Um, if you forgive the faults of others, your Heavenly Father will forgive you yours. And verse 15, if you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive you. And this applies to all fellow human beings. The Nazi colonel realized he was doomed and wanted to save his family. So he called me to a secret meeting in the old Colosseum to plead with me to help his family get out of Rome and Italy, as he knew that was my specialty. I felt as if my Heavenly Father was testing me to see if even under the dire conditions with the hated Nazis would I follow that section of the Lord's Prayer. So did you immediately tell the colonel you would help him? <laughs> No, not at all. I told him, I quote, I'll see you in hell first. Kapler called me a hypocrite and said that I preached a bunch of lies. But his family was in trouble and he was asking you for fatherly love and forgiveness. Yes, I knew then it was a test. Would I follow that section of the Lord's Prayer even though the man I was to help had committed war crimes against humanity? So I guess you did because you were a priest. Well, what happened was this. Rome was liberated on June the 4th, 1944, by the 5th U.S. Army. Two Allied soldiers questioned Kapler about how his wife and children escaped to Switzerland. He had no idea, but he wondered if it was me. It was you, wasn't it? Carrying out the forgiveness passages of the Lord's Prayer under extreme conditions because you had to? You are a priest. Yes, I confess I did. I was Kapler's only visitor in the Italian prison where he was sentenced to life for war crimes. I visited him every month for 15 years, and finally, this year, Colonel Kapler was baptized into the Catholic faith at my hands, a Roman Irish priest. My name is Bertha Sedgway, and I'm the receptionist here. And I've been listening to your sentimental story, and, but I have a different opinion. Colonel Kapler should have rot in prison and his wife and children should have been tortured. They stoned and whipped Nazi sympathizers after the war, and they even cut women's hair. I knew someone like you would say that. Now, when I was in the seminary studying for the priesthood, we had to memorize Jesus' teachings and learn why he said what he said on the Sermon on the Mount. Uh, Colonel Kapler was a good test case. These Nazi wives and children were exactly those people who needed God's forgiveness and mercy the most. Jesus used those words for good reason. Well, maybe just a little whip the children and the wives. No, that's not what the Lord's Prayer says at all, Miss Sledgewood. Father O'Flaherty, I wish we at JNS could give you a medal, like the Medal of Freedom you already received. And Miss Sedgway, Jesus never said, whip your enemy till he screams for mercy. He would never say anything like that. This is Pamela Bluewater for JNS saying to our viewers, you can't go wrong by following the lesson of forgiveness in the Lord's Prayer, Matthew chapter 6, verse 14 through 15. Good morning. What are your thoughts on today's story? We'd like to know. So. Leave a comment and subscribe to our channel, JNS Authentic Biblical Productions. Whether it's the Word of God through parables, true stories illustrating 
parables, or true stories in the life of Jesus Christ with commentary. You can see them all by subscribing to the most comprehensive collection of videos of biblical stories for you and your family. Have a blessed day.